Here comes the field for tonight's fourth race. Ohio State Fair Stakes continuing. This is the Ohio State Trot, 22,400. Trophy by our friends at Midland Acres, one active lending. Owned by Tommy Clemens, Jim Daly drives. Two HRs, Overcomer. Owned by Barbie Hughes and LaVon Deagle. And the driver is David Myers. Three Brett's Comer, owned by Miller Brothers Stable and Kevin Greenfield. Jay Cross, the Rainsman, four Hope by Can. Owned by Chip Noble and Ralph Connolly. Chip Noble will have the drive. Five, Carry the Speed. Owned by Dave McLean, driven by Del S. Miller. Six is Basso, owned by Laura Baker, Doug Gregory, Jim Arledge, and James Morrow with David Miller tonight. Seven is Mackachee, owned by Marilyn Sikonesi. Tony Price will be in the sulky. Field for the fourth, six minutes till post time. Starting gate is underway. Field for tonight's fourth race. Ohio State trot for two-year-old Colts and Geldings in behind starter John Betts. It is now post time. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Active Lindy takes the lead in the six. Basso is off stride. McEachie looks for command on the far outside, and the three is on the run. Brett's Comer. They're down the back stretch. McEachie on the far outside now gets the lead. Active Lindy second, hope by Ken. Will take a seat in there third, is followed up on the outside by HR's Overcomer fourth. Carry the speed is next, first to get back in the stride. Brett's Comer. And Basso far, far back, five well grouped by the quarter, 29 and three. Trotting past the stands to the half mile pole. McEachie under confident handling leads the way. Active Lindy in second. Hope I can looks to remain unbeaten in third. After that, it's HR's overcomer in fourth. Carry the speed in fifth, Brett's comer. Looks like the deja vu all over again journey. He made the same mistake last week, but quickly gets back into it. And Basso appears out of this one. They're at the half mile pole. Slow second quarter still has McEachie on top. In 101 and four, here comes Hope I Can. Setting sail from the rail, they're down the back stretch. Active Lindy skimming the pylons in third. Here come the comers up on the outside. HR's over is up on the outside. Far outside, Brett nearest the rail, carry the speed. And Basso, little more than a quarter of a mile to trot. From the outside, Hope I Can now easily gets command. McEachie second, Active Lindy third. HR's Overcomer first over to fourth. Along the rail, carry the speed is fifth. Brett's Comer is up on the outside and Basso. 132 field moves to the head of the stretch. Bouncing along a solid length and a half, it's Hope I Can. McEachie angles off the rail, he's not done yet. Middle of the racetrack, HR's Overcomer. Hope I can brings them home with a rush on the outside. HR's overcomer. It's Hope I can. HR's overcomer coming on. Here comes the unofficial winner of tonight's fourth race to HR's overcomer. Improving two year old brown coat by overcomer out of HR's solitaire. Owned by Barbie Hughes and LaVon Deagle of Delaware, Ohio. Trained by Michael Hughes. Given a well-judged drive tonight by David Myers. Covering that mile in 2-2-2 two, two, and, two, and establishing a lifetime best. Number two, HR's Overcomer. The winner of tonight's second division of the Ohio State Trot. Trophy by Midland Acres. 2-4 exacto, 160-20. Windows are now up and on tonight's fifth race. No changes in the fifth. Little over 2,300 in tonight's twin trifecta carryover. Post time at us 8.53. Post time 8.53.
Tap down on the trot. Active Lindy, third. Eight jars over. Comer the winner. Brett's Comer was sixth. Hope I can second. Carry the speed, fifth. Basso, seventh. Mackinchy, fourth. 316, 257 for the bottom of the mile was 202 and 2. Meadows on Saturday, 1 o'clock. Meadowlands, 110. We'll have a live program at 715 with the Ohio State Fairs continuing here with their stakes for two year old pacing Colts and three year old Colts.